and this is a KP, and a, in your case, moles were given. It doesn't matter. Once you get to the end, if you want equilibrium pressures, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the ice table. And then uh, when you solve for x, uh, depending on how you set up the table, like if you started with moles, molarity, say here, or something like that, you'll end with molarity, so this would be molarity. You can convert this to pressure. If I ended with but, molarity, and then would you write to uh, multiply by meters to get ultimate? Mm-hmm, that's totally fine. Okay. Uh, the problem is, if you want the total pressure here, at the end, you've got to sum the whole E line. Partial pressure of A plus partial pressure of B plus partial pressure of C. Because these are, you're actually getting equilibrium partial pressures. So if they ask you for the total pressure, you'd want to sum all this up. Okay, so do I, I did for each C? Yeah, so you'd want to say, if you, if you do this in terms of pressure and Kp, then you just sum this line at the end. If you change this to Kc, and you do this for, say, molarity, for example, then down here you'd want to convert each one of these to pressure and then add them all up. Okay. Is so that if I convert to pressure, what if I just pop them in the moles and put it into the PD because I Say it again. If I did I just converted it to moles, then I put it into PD because I For x? Yeah. Which is fine, but x is just one of these values. Okay, so I would have to do it. Do it for every one of them, and then add it up. Okay. Okay, cool.